Hello, and welcome to another edition of the Net at Work Sage X3 video series. Today we're going to be looking at the Product Configurator. The Product Configurator is a function within the X3 sales order entry uh, screen, and it allows users to configure a product from scratch based on a series of uh, attributes that you're going to uh, prompt the user for. Uh, there are three different components to the product configurator module, uh, the first of which is a product selector, and that allows us to answer these attributes and give us a short list of products uh, that match those attributes, and then we can select which ones we want to add to our order. The second is going to be an options slash variance, uh, which is going to prompt us for a series of questions for a specific product, uh, such as where do we want the exhaust or what uh, uh, type of flavor or, or color do we want uh, for this product. Um, and the system is going to have rules that either allow us to uh, uh, select one or multiple products or as well as cross-sell or upsell any products. And then finally, we have a scenario function, which actually combines uh, the product selector function along with the options variance function to give us a full rule-based uh, product configurator. And if, it com if the answers that we provide the scenario is a configuration that has not existed before, the system will create all of the necessary uh, data within the system to add that uh, specific configuration to our list of products. So let's begin. Go ahead and create a new sales order. And we're going to use the uh, site that I have for uh, discrete manufacturing. And I'm going to sell it to a customer. And we're going to come down here to the Lines tab and actually uh, start configuring a product. So instead of entering an item code here, a product ID, we're going to come here to the action item uh, uh, menu within the line. And one of our choices is that of the configurator. Now, as I mentioned, we have three choices. We can do a product selection where we're going to answer a series of attributes and get a short list of products to select from. Or we can do the options or variants that is more of a rule-based uh, or upsell and cross-sell type of, uh, of option. And we have the scenario that kind of combines the two functions into a more complex uh, 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 configuration. So let's go ahead and start with product selection. Now you can have as many product selection filters as you would like, um, uh, oftentimes for different uh, uh, product lines or product types. So we're going to select the bike option and now the product selection button opens up. When I click that button, I'm going to be prompted for a series of questions. These are the attributes I was mentioning. So the first is what uh, level, what type of ground do we expect to uh, ride our bike on? And our choices are a road bike or a mountain bike. Uh, so let's go ahead and select road bike. And the next option uh, is, is it going to be for an adult or for a child? So what size bike do we want? Well, well, this is for a child. And what, uh, what type of metal do we want our bike uh, to be? Uh, the aluminum bikes are slightly more expensive than the steel bikes. So we'll, we'll select uh, one of those options and we'll say, OK. The system will now go through our inventory list and find all products that match our criteria. In this case, it found two products. Um, and I can, of course, select the product that I want. Or if I wanted to see additional information, I can, for example, remove one of these filters, such as the size. If I say search, the system will go back and find uh, not only the children's bike, but now the adult bikes as well. If I say I want to look at steel and aluminum bikes, I can change that filter and do a search. And now I have several different options to choose from. So we can add or remove these filters uh, uh, as we like. And when we have decided what uh, product we want, of course, we have the uh, information about our uh, attributes here that are tied to those items. And now I can select one or more of these uh, products. If I select uh, more, I can put uh, different quantities 
of whichever uh, product I would like. And when I'm ready, I can say OK. And all of the products that I've selected for my product conf uh, selector uh, utility uh, will now make it over to my um, uh, to the lines tab within my sales order. So now I have uh, one children's standard road bike, and I've also added three uh, uh, road sport bikes <clears throat> to my order. So that is basically uh, the product selector. Now let's take a look at the options and variants uh, uh, choice. So I'm going to come back here to an empty line. I'm going to click on configurator. And now I'm going to select from the options variants, uh, which again, we can create as many options or variants as we'd like. In this example, we just have one created for my fork rim. So we're staying with the bike uh, analogy here. And I'm going to go in for that fork rim. What are my options or variants? So my options selection and variants uh, button opens up. I'm going to click there, and now again, the system is going to prompt me for a series of questions. Are the forks uh, for a adult bike or a child bike? In this example, we'll select adult bike. I'm going to say OK. And now I'm going to have a series of uh, choices of fork rim tubes for adult bikes. Now I can choose from one of two choices, and these are products BMS 048 or BMS 50, um, and they have different uh, 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 attributes associated with them. Um, I can select one, but if I try to select both, it knows that I can only have one of these per uh, uh, fork rim tube. So the rules are that I, if I select one, it automatically deselects the other. And then I have some optional up cells so do I besides the fork choice do I also want the rim I could select yes or no and do I also want the inner tube uh, for this uh, uh, fork rim um, if I select yes to all three then I say okay all three products again will come and make it into my uh, sales order uh, uh, detail line step so I have the first two items from the product selection and the uh, next three items from my options and variants. Now, um, let's take a look at the more complex scenario type function, which is what most people really think of when they think of the configurator. I'm gonna click here again to an empty line, select the configurator choice, and we're gonna now go to our scenario. And here, if I look up, we can have as many scenarios that we've defined in the setup. Uh, we're gonna select the bike scenario, and uh, we're, now the scenario button opens up. So we're going to uh, click on the scenario. It's letting me know that we've already, uh, when I was practicing for this video, I had already uh, created a bike scenario for that same customer. So it's asking me, do you want the same answers previously? Uh, so that if, I, if the same customer is buying the same type of product, we don't have to answer all those questions again. But for the purpose of this demo, we're going to say no, and we want to answer all of those questions again. Uh, so again, uh, we've seen some of these choices before. Uh, what size bike do we want? Uh, what type of ground do we want to uh, ride that bike on? Maybe this time it's a mountain bike. Uh, uh, what type of metal? Uh, it is an aluminum uh, mountain bike that we want. Um, and now we have some other uh, questions such as uh, how many type of chain set do we want? We have a single, double, or triple chain set. Uh, so let's go with a, a more complex triple chain set. Um, also, it's going to prompt for how many gears do we want on our mountain bike. Uh, we want seven gears per chain set, so it's a 21 gear bike. And uh, uh, what is the finish of the bike? These are, again, options or variants. Do we want the standard color? Do we want a bicolor bike or tricolor bike? So we're going to go ahead and uh, go all out with this uh, selection. And now we've answered all of the questions. And now we've got some upsells uh, to, uh, to do. Um, this is a, uh, we're going to uh, filter for a saddle. So do we want the adult standard saddle or do we want the comfort saddle? Again, I cannot select both because I'm doing only one bike, so it says multiple selections are not allowed, but I'm going to go ahead and select the standard uh, uh, saddle, and I'm going to say OK. At this point, the system will look for uh, and see whether or not we have created that configuration uh, before. So we're going to search, 
and I see here that we don't have that uh, 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 configuration created before. So let's go ahead and say OK to our questions. And we're going to validate. Now our validation opens up to make sure that all of those uh, uh, combinations uh, go together. The system will go and define everything that we uh, need it to, including um, the uh, product that we are creating, which is an uh, adult mountain bike. And in the product code, I have different uh, 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 segments that are actually defining all of my uh, responses. So it's going to create a product with that code, with this description, and of course with all of the uh, categories. It also found the unit cost of this uh, a product and it has defined a base price for that product. If I scroll down on this same screen, I can uh, see that the system has gone and found all of the uh, components that are going to be made up on this product based on my configuration responses. If I scroll further down, I can see that it also created a routing for me with that configuration uh, with any steps or operations. In this example, I just have a, a labor step for assembling of the bike. If I scroll down, I can also see all of the uh, what items do I have in stock, what is available and what is uh, needed and how much I have, uh, what is uh, short. So I definitely need to uh, purchase some items in order to build this bike. As I scrolled it further down, it has created a uh, standard cost record for this bike, including all of the uh, component and uh, labor cost and any overhead I've allocated prior. So if I am OK with this um, uh, configuration, I can simply go to my generation and the system will actually uh, uh, say that the configuration ended successfully and it created this configuration. I can say OK and uh, the system now I can uh, go and uh, generate a work order for this product and we can see here again in my uh, lines tab of the order that I now have not only the first two items I've selected and the second three from the options and variants but I have this uh, product created uh, which is my adult mountain bike and uh, I can uh, see all information uh, related to that product. So we might be asking ourselves, how do we um, set all of that up? How does the system know to prompt for those questions? Uh, well, uh, the setup of the configurator is something, of course, we won't have time to go into in detail uh, for this demo. But of course, we can train you on how to do it. But just to give you a quick sense, um, the first thing we're going to do is set up our our questions and our responses. So, uh, for example, we have a question known as uh, ground, and we have that as uh, the, the, the answers, potential answers, are road or mountain bike. So we can create those questions and then generate uh, uh, those the same way we can do uh, the metal, uh, such as steel aluminum, or the finish, uh, which is standard or, or two color or three, or three color. So these are all the questions and responses that I'm allowing, and I have the ability of having those in different languages with different uh, types of uh, descriptions. Uh, now, I can also then create the uh, configuration uh, selections. So once I have my questions, I can then create a uh, uh, this for the product selection, which is uh, I have a few here. I'm going to select bike and uh, that could be either a standalone mode or it could be part of a scenario. Um, it could be defined for a product line. And uh, down here I have all of the invent all of the um, uh, fields that are going to show up in my lookup when I have my short list. And here I can say uh, what type of uh, filters. So my first filter, uh, my main filter is what type of, uh, you know, the fact that I'm selecting a bike. And then the attributes that it's going to prompt me for is the ground type, the size, and the metal. And I can have different filter formulas and whether they're and or type formulas. Um, so the system will then generate a list of products that match those attributes. I can also uh, go to my options and variants, another uh, uh, way of selecting. So again, the, we, we saw the fork rim tube. Uh, so this is the options or variant for the fork rim tube. It, could, it is a standalone. 
And um, here I'm showing what uh, fields are going to show in my lookup. And the options and variants are my fork choice. And I have four of them because they are dependent on whether I've selected a child size or an adult size. So I have two uh, child options and two adult options. And then I have some uh, products that I might be um, uh, I might be able to uh, select as an upsell uh, when I select the fork rim tube. And then finally, and here I have uh, the choice of looking at the configurator scenarios. And uh, within these scenarios, I can define uh, whether I want to create the item, uh, uh, create the components, create the routing, uh, th lots of different choices, whether it's a standard or assisted or when, whether we enter it uh, question by question. And uh, again, we have all of the questions that we're going to prompt for and any rules or conditions that are going to be met based on those. Um, and when we create the kit, uh, what... Uh, 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 Items are going to be uh, created, uh, including the uh, selection of the saddle and all of the components that we've uh, added to this. And, uh, and, and those could be set up with uh, various uh, filters associated with them. We will get into a lot more detail during our training to show you how to set up these scenarios, uh, options and variants, or product selections uh, on your own. But hopefully you get a sense of how you can use the product configurator within uh, your organization. Um, thank you very much. And if you uh, would like to uh, find out more information, uh, please feel free to reach out to any one of our NetWorkers uh, team. Thank you.